सो हे गाइज सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर पेपर विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन इट कम्स टू रैक सो आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू गाइज नो अबाउट द होल रैक थिंग विच इज रिट्रीवल अगमेंटेड जनरेशन सो दिस होल आर्किटेक्चर एक्चुअली कंप्राइजेज ऑफ टेकिंग डॉक्यूमेंट्स और कंटेंट फ्रॉम एन एक्सटर्नल सोर्स रिट्रीविंग द क्लोजेस्ट कंटेंट फ्रॉम द एक्चुअल कंटेंट एंड देन पासिंग द क्वेरी अलॉन्ग विद द रिट्रीव कंटेंट टू द लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल एंड गेटिंग अ पर्टिकुलर आउटपुट pretty straight forward right but when it comes to uh, tabular data we have been facing this problem of not getting good answers or correct answers to tabular queries because of the uh, extraction part right because when you extract from any particular pdf parser you will notice that the tabular data is not extracted in the way you guys will want it cool i think we can start with this paper so this paper i was part of uh, uh, as a main author and we actually uh, worked on this whole thing i think 4 5 months back but i was waiting for the moment uh, till my youtube channel has a particular reach so that i can share this particular paper with you guys so th it's available on archive you guys can go and read it and just suggest me if you guys have anything new about this so let's start so currently if you see uh, there is this architecture through which we are able uh, to solve this whole problem of tabular data even though this result doesn't uh, produces uh, an extraordinary uh, you know evaluation benchmarking like 100% but yeah we have a pretty decent benchmark for this so if you see if i remove this particular part right now let's not consider this you have pdfs you take the whole uh, data from this you uh, put this in the retrieval vector database and you then did do a query and you get a top k retrieve content using any particular uh, Uh, let's say similarity score let's say cosine similarity and you then pass the query and retrieve content to the uh, to the lama 2 model uh, you can have any model here and you get the result but if you see here there is some tabular content so what we did is using camulet library just uh, remember these terms camulet library is a really good library when it comes to extracting tabular data from uh, pdfs so we extracted the tabular data and what we did is we attach the header of the uh, table to uh, to the uh, row values let's see example of table in pdf let's see some random searches and let's take this particular example right so if you see here this particular uh, disability category is there so what we are doing go going to do we are going to attach this with a value blind then participants with five ballots completed one similarly this with this this with this and we are going to have a particular row for this how this is going to help suppose you pass this whole data to a pdf parser and just give it to the retrieval database so how it is going to go it is going to go like this this whole content is gone then this content is gone then this content is gone do you see there is no correction between the content it is just going through so how will the model know this is a table and these contents have a relation between with each other so we just concatenated the uh, header with the row values right so once this is done we are uh, we are uh, passing it to gpt 3.5 now i have written a chat gpt it is gpt 3.5 api JT, gpt 3.5 turbo api if i need to be precise and then we are giving it one shot that suppose you are getting data like this you need to make it more uh, understandable in a paragraph format right Lo like if you see the example here this can be uh, the disability category for blind has five participants along with one ballot completed and four ballots incompleted and it has achieved an accuracy of 34.5% and it took 1199 seconds to complete similarly for low vision and then whole paragraph will be for like this so this will make it easy for the retriever as well as the language model to give an exact answer for this because if you provided some data like this and suppose somehow it also get retrieved the model won't have any uh, connection between the headers and the row values so it will be completely useless so we did this now if you want to see the results here are some results so this is the normal pipeline right we have we just the normal existing pipeline where we are uh, passing the pdfs uh, getting the data in, in a retriever database and uh, using cosine similarity of the query and the whole database we are extracting some content passing it to the model so if you look at the simple text queries which are not tabular queries 86.6 pretty decent table queries 48.2 uh, it's really low and the overall accuracy is 
Now, if you look at table extracting separately and context, uh, context enrichment, it is 6.6. .6. So it remains the same, but this increased to 54.1. Uh, now, in this particular part, we are doing nothing but only uh, adding the header value with the row values. That's it. So the accuracy has uh, increased to 54.1. Now, after passing the enriched content to Jad GPT 3.5 Turbo, this should be GPT 3.5 Turbo it's 61.1 so you see the increase in accuracy and also the simple text queries has also increased to 93.3 now you must be thinking that dude we were working on table queries right table data then how is this particular one increasing now there's the catch when you improve the overall quality of the data in the retriever database in here then you don't won't have junk content right just random content split along you won't have that right so overall also you will be able to see some difference in the simple text queries also because now you have some good content not some random uh, values that are there so, suppose blind 514 34.5 second how will the model know what is happening here this is just random data for it right so when you have good data in your database the cosine similarity and the you know uh, retrieval content while passing to the model will obviously increase in accuracy right now if you guys want to know how did i retrieve it we have an internal retriever that is using cosine similarity you guys can use llama index llama index also uses uh, has some awesome retrievers you can use use that for retrieving the content and then you can pass it to the model else you have a lang chain also for this so yeah you can use that and i and i hope you guys have learned that how this technique is helping us in uh, you know increasing the accuracy in the table extraction part now these are some impactful rack papers this i found it very useful even though this is not directly connected to this video but i would like you guys to go and read these papers because these papers will help you understand the new techniques that are uh, coming in this rag and llm field uh, helping you to uh, progress in this particular domain and experimenting with new things right and see which one works for you the best so yeah guys that was it for the video if you guys have any uh, question regarding this that what data set i have used you can guys can go and read the paper we have a 200 queries and are out of that 170 are complex table queries and 30 simple text queries so we have a diverse data set that we manually created so it's not like that we just did some experiments without looking at uh, the data sets and uh, accuracy number so yeah guys that was it for the video i hope you learned something new and do tell me in the comment section what else we can bring to the channel to help you guys grow in the field of ml thank you and have a nice day